Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and it's been a minute since I've done one of these videos, but today I'm going to show you guys how to play Lucio better on console. I've done this with Genji, I've done this with Widowmaker, I've even done this with D.Va, so I've done it with a whole gang of heroes, but I haven't done it for Lucio yet, and I feel like Lucio is a big staple in a lot of team comps. I don't feel like he's needed 100% of the time, but he's one of the most picked healers right next to Mercy, because, well, who doesn't want to play Lucio? I mean, Lucio's a cool dude, right? But a lot of people will say that, oh, Lucio's so easy to play, you don't need a practice. And why are you making this stupid video? This is all you need to do with Lucio's, bro, you act. Oh, yeah, turn it up. <laughs> I want to go. <laughs> a lot of people like to meme on Lucio saying, oh, all you got to do is just hit the speed boost button and you're helping your team. While that sometimes is the case, I feel like if you were just to practice the things that makes Lucio Lucio, you'll be a much bigger help to your team. You'll be a better Lucio than if you're just being a passive Lucio, just staying in the back, not really helping your team, actually going in the fight, actually getting some kills, getting a lot of DPS, because Lucio has a lot of DPS potential. You guys don't realize it, especially right after the changes he did get around season five but it's actually honing in on those skills and actually utilizing the changes that he received and just practicing because also what a big part of this practice method is is to show you how well you actually are with Lucio because I got I guarantee you you guys are sitting there saying oh Lucio isn't that hard to play I, I'm a great Lucio bro you but it's actually looking at yourself and realizing oh crap I actually don't get a lot of headshots with Lucio. Oh crap, I actually don't know how to wall right properly. Oh crap, I don't know how to actually combine the two. It's just practicing that and realizing, okay, I actually don't do all this stuff in game because a lot of you guys probably don't record your own gameplay. A lot of you guys probably don't watch or what you do, the kind of mistakes you make. So this practice method just kind of forces you to really look at your skills with Lucio and really practice them and sharpen your skills with them. I'm talking about just wall writing and stuff like that because again, there's not one way to play Lucio, but Lucio is a lot more effective wall riding and being able to shoot at the same time, boot people off, speed boosting, all that kind of good stuff, and that's what this practice method will do. So anyway, let's get with the setup and then I'll show you guys the practice steps that you need to take because there's baby steps when it comes to loose here. I'm not going to be just talking, you, you see what I mean, let's just get right into the video. <laughs> so like every practice method, is going to start here in the game browser, you just want to create a game. Now, with the first thing we're going to do is going to add AI. I will explain why this is kind of important, but the AI I went with is going to be McCree. The reason for that is because he does have his big cowboy hat and it's going to be a good place order for where you want to put your crosshair when it comes to Lucio and for the count just add five because it's less overwhelming than just adding six you can't add six but I just want to add five because now you can actually focus on a McCree whereas that extra one would just kind of be a little bit more overwhelming I know it's kind of weird but just put it like that so when it comes to the settings you don't have to change anything with presets or lobby but go straight to modes because this is important you're going to want to go on control and go down to limit valid control points and change it to the third one the reason for that is because we want the specific map, which is going to be here in maps. We're going to change it to none, but we're going to go down to uh, Nepal. And this is going to put you on Sanctuary. That is so important because there's wall riding spots. There's places that you can boop the McCrees. There's places that you can just gather around the McCrees and just go for headshots. So that is very, very, very important. You want to go on the third map of Nepal. And when it comes to heroes, we're going to be just changing McCree. Not going to be changing anything with Lucio because I want the, the cl closest thing to the real game scenario, even though this isn't anywhere close and we're going to disable combat roll, flashbang, quick melee, ultimate ability, everything like that and we're also going to go down to pre primary fire and secondary fire and just disable that. Now, when it comes to receive headshots only, this is where you're going to cheat yourself. Leave this disabled, but I want you guys to be able to aim for the head. The reason why you want to disable this, though, is for the booping ability. So when you enable it, you're not able to boop them. So even though booping doesn't take the most amount of practice, it's still something that you, you want to practice a little bit. So if you do just solely want to practice headshots, go ahead and do this. But I feel like with Lucio, what, again, you should always should go for headshots, but it's not your main priority. Your main priority with Lucio is to really heal the team. Then your second priority is to get DPS, just firing your regular gun, getting body shots, headshots, whatever the case may be. The third thing could be booping people. And then like the fourth thing should be getting headshots when it comes to the things you need to worry about with Lucio. So we can do that. We have all the presets and then you can just save presets as you can just name it as like, L, because I'm going to take an L. But once you get that all saved, we can finally go into the game and just start practicing Lucio. So now we're actually into the training method. What's so good about this is that the McCrees are always going to stay on the point right here. They're never going to follow you, just like... 
my ex girlfriend did. So it was, so you don't have to worry about the time limit and them running away from the points. They're always gonna stay right here, even when they respawn, which is gonna be good. But the first thing that you're gonna want to do, and like I said before, it's gonna be baby steps. You're literally gonna want to try to aim for the head. You're not gonna be doing anything fancy. You're not gonna be wall riding like, oh, I'm gonna be pooping. No, just literally start by just aiming for the head. This is gonna gauge how how well you actually are able to shoot with uh, Lucio. So remember how I said you don't want to get overwhelmed with McCree's by adding six of them. Well, this is like a good amount like the good happy medium with five but what you're gonna want to do is that you're gonna just want to gonna want to focus on one McCree so right now I'm trying to focus on two right here so that's why I said you don't want a bunch of McCrees you can even go down to four but they kind of respawn at a slower pace uh, but right here you're gonna want to focus on three and just continue to fire at the head you're gonna get some body shots don't even worry about that but seriously this is all you got to do for the first baby step I, I will show you more but you got to think Lucio is quote-unquote pretty easy but how easy is it to get uh, the headshots with Lucio but the way that I like to get headshots with Lucio is like I like to get very up close and personal so that the projectiles doesn't have too much variable variable time when it comes to travel distance. You gotta move, my boy. So that's why I want to try to get up close and personal and try to get as much headshots as possible rather than just trying to be as far away as possible and trying to get headshots. You can practice this, but the way that I see Lucio most effective is just really up close and personal and just getting those headshots. You, you see right here, I'm still gonna miss, but that's the cool thing about Lucio is that you don't have to worry too much about missing because, well, you have a four shots per fire every time you press the trigger and also you're gonna see if I can just find the 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 McCree that was low on health let me just get one low on health what you're also gonna want to try to practice too is once you actually get it low on health I'm just going to want to practice just meleeing, just doing that to them. Yes, you do have your boop ability, but you will see why I don't want to try to get you guys to practice that when trying to finish people off. You want to just try to melee them when they're low on health. So the next thing you're going to want to practice is Lucio's wall riding, because this is what makes Lucio so special. This is what makes him that boy. Whatever meme you want to give him, this is what you need to practice. Like, out of everything in this video, this is probably the one thing that I just stress the most that you need to do. And I actually brought up the controller cam just to show you guys how important the, the special buttons I have bounded for Lucio are. So if you didn't watch my video like a long time ago, I was showing you guys uh, the button remappings for Lucio. This is my jump button. This is not my jump button because, again, Lucio is most effective when he's jumping. And, I, and this is literally what you're going to be doing if you're playing Lucio, going back and forth, back and forth. So if you're constantly taking your right thumb away from the, the your eyes from aiming you're not going to be able to bring Lucio to his fullest potential. So a real quick tutorial of how Lucio's wall writing works is that when you're on the wall that's going one direction, you can't go back on that same wall if it's going the same direction. Let's say, uh, let's say this. Okay, I go on this wall. I can't hop on that wall because it's facing a different direction, a different angle, whatever you want to call it. So that's why you see a lot of Lucio's player going back and forth because, well, the walls are facing different directions. So if you're ever wondering why you're wall writing and you can't go back on the wall, it's because it's facing the same direction. But that's why Nepal is so good is because there's so many walls that you can go and practice wall riding especially right here so right here is gonna be a perfect place to practice because if you fail it's your own life you're gonna die you're gonna know if you're not practicing you're not utilizing Lucio's wall riding but remember how I said you can't use the same wall so you have to go on a different wall and just keep going back and forth on different angles so you can see right there I was on the same wall but that's because it's the same angle same direction so you're gonna see in the replay right here I try to hop on the same wall right there didn't work and that's not how you're supposed to do it. So now is the fun part of the training method where you actually get to gauge how good of a wall rider you are. So here's just a simple little flank spot that I see a lot of pro Lucios do. They just speed boost right here. You don't even need a speed boost, but you just come down right there and you flank around and you get a boop right there. A triple, that would have been a four's lava achievement, all because you came up this way rather than the middle. So what's so good about that is that teams aren't really looking for a Lucio that's coming from the sky right there. More or less, people are going to look for a Lucio that's coming right here because people don't utilize the wall riding ability but now you can so instead of just coming right down the middle and them seeing you it's like okay guys let's not stand right next to let's so that he can't get the floor is lava achievement now you're actually going to be able to wall right up there and just do a simple little flank maneuver and you just flanked around right there and you're just able to boop them right off and now for the final part of the training method is literally bringing them all together into one single little package it's wall riding with with firing at the head this is going to be a little bit harder but again this is what practicing is all for this is what the training method is all about is just being able to just jump around and just move and switch between songs because this is what you have to do with Lucio if you're just like this if you're just moving around and just firing and hoping for the best there's no reason why me as a soldier or me as a mate is going to be able to freeze you but if you're constantly just moving jumping all around and just going left or right left or right just literally going crazy like not like that but you get what I'm trying to say 
it's gonna be a lot harder to kill you. And that's why a lot of people like to say Lucio's so easy, but he has a skill cap, not a skill cap, a skill gap rather, because some people can take it to the next level and constantly just speed boosting, getting in people's face, get uh, just booping them off the cliff. So this is why I made this training method to just show you. It's like, yes, you might be a good Lucio, but this is probably what you're doing. Okay, maybe once in a while you'll jump. No, that that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be jumping. I, I, me as Lucio, I'm constantly jumping because that's just what I like to do. I have such a small hitbox that's easy for me to hit if I'm just standing there. But if I'm just constantly jumping, wall riding occasionally, and just getting leverage. It's gonna be so much harder for the enemy to kill and that's basically all that you need to practice with Lucio But I just want to stress one last time is that even if you're not doing too much with him You're still being effective But it's actually practicing what I just showed you in this video where you're gonna be just seeing different changes in games And you're still gonna be a lot more effective when it comes to Lucio rather than just sitting there and speed boosting and just healing them No, you're actually getting kills. You're actually booping people away You're actually being in the enemy's face and being annoying and that's what Lucio is all about I'm not saying that you have to play Lucio this way, I'm just saying you're, you're gonna do a lot better with him, especially if you pick him on a more consistent basis. So, I love you guys. I thank you guys for watching more of our videos to come. Hopefully, more videos like this where I just show you how to be better on console with the controller cam, so on and so forth, because I love doing these. So, I love you guys. I thank you guys for watching more of our videos to come, and bye.